What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hicker Scuba Marine. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now we're continuing on with our series and this is going to be part two of my personal dive gear or my rig rundown. And in today's video, if you can't tell, we're going to be talking about BCDs and I'm going to be showing you my top six BCDs that I'm currently using today and I'll be explaining how I actually use them and why I choose to use them as well. So with that being said, let's jump into today's video. So as you can see guys, I've got a slew of different BCDs here. I've actually got six that I use day in, day out. And this is nowhere near all the BCDs that I've owned. These are just the ones that I use on a daily basis. I've got several more hanging up over here. Of course, a couple of my daughters, a couple of some friends of mine. But I've also got some other BCDs that I'm currently working on. Up there in that bin, there's another backplate and wing that I'm currently building. And it's going to be really cool when I get it done. But it's going to be a custom backplate and wing where I'm doing some custom graphics and all that on it as well. But we're going to look at these six today because these are the ones that I use seven days a week, depending on what type of diving that I'm going to be doing for that day. And I'm going to be breaking these down piece by piece, you know, unit by unit for you, just so you can see what I'm using and why I'm using it as well. All right, guys, so the first one that we're going to look at is a backplate and wing that I've currently got set up for doubles. And I know somebody's going to squint at that and say, but Brian, I thought you hated doubles. And yes, I hate doubles. I cannot stand wearing doubles. However, there are certain times when I need doubles. So currently, that's what this is set up on. As you can see, there's my double steel 80s manifolded together. And of course, I've got a backplate and wing. Now, currently, I'm using the three mil steel from Mario's. You can kind of see it behind the back pad there. But that comes in around that five pound mark, single piece webbing harness all the way through. I do have my shears. I do have my line cutter here on the side and a spare knife as well. And no, I don't really use this for extended range purposes. What I use this for is if I'm doing salvage work where I know I'm going to be underwater for an extended period of time, regardless of the depth, I'll wear this simply for the air supply alone. It does come in very handy that I don't have to get out and constantly change tanks. But that's my doubles rig. All right, guys, so the next one up on the list is my teaching and travel backplate and wing. This is another Marez uh, XR system, and, of course, it has the soft plate here. You'll see no steel, no aluminum, simply a soft plate. I absolutely love this BCD. It is set up just like the double, so everything's in the same place. I've got a set of shears here. I've got a line cutter here on my hip. I've got my SMB in the same place and even a spare flashlight clipped off. But I use this for travel just because it's super, super lightweight. I can roll it up. I can throw it in a carry on if I need to. But I also love this for teaching because it's so versatile. You guys seen my dry suit series of videos where we did some testing with fins and we did the dry suit failure video, this was the BCD that I was wearing. A lot of people say with dry suits, you got to have a heavy steel plate, and that is simply not the case. I wear this system with a steel 80 or this 63 that I have here, and of course, I can swap it out for an aluminum 80. I can wear this system with virtually any cylinder out there, and it's going to be just fine for me. Now, it does come with a 22-pound or a 34-pound bladder. Currently, this is the 22-pound bladder, and it's got plenty of lift for exactly what I need it for. And like I said, if you saw them older videos, you'll know I do dive this with a steel 80. I have dove it with a steel 100, and I've got plenty of lift with it with a 22-pound bladder. So that's kind of my choice there, simply because it's very lightweight, great to travel with, and it's great to teach with as well. All right, guys, BCD number three, of course, is another backplate and wing from the Mars XR line. This one happens to have the three mil steel plate here that I do cover with a back pad, single piece webbing harness, and the 34 pound lift wing. The last one I showed you was a 22 pound wing. This was the 34 pound wing. But you will notice it's set up very similar to my doubles rig, and that's simply because this is my salvage and public safety rig. And like I said, with those doubles, I use them in salvage work a lot. And so this is my singles salvage and public safety rig but it is still set up identical i got my shears there from lifeguard systems i've got a line cutter here from marez a homemade line cutter from a steak knife and of course i've got my smb and reel but you'll also notice there are two lift bags i carry two 50 pound lift bags on my backplate and wing here this is the xs scuba 50 and another xs scuba 50 if you're interested in how to mount these to your backplate and wing i will link you a video down below we showed you exactly how we mount it simply using bungees and it makes it quick deploy when you're underwater as well but this is my salvage 
and my public safety backplate wing. I can run it with aluminum 80s. In this case, I've got a steel 80 here on the back and I can run it all the way up from a steel 100 to a steel 120. With a 34 pound bladder, I've got absolutely plenty of lift to get me to stay positive at the surface. I do have some trim pouches back here. You can't really see them very well, but I do carry trim pouches, but you'll notice on all my backplate wings, there are no weight pouches whatsoever. I do believe in a balanced rig and being properly weighted for the depth you're going to. And with this system here, I'm absolutely perfectly weighted for any given dive regardless what I wear or what tank I wear as well. Now the next one up on the list is the Mares XR heavy duty pure side mount system. Now I know that's a mouthful but you can actually get this system in two different versions. This is the heavy duty. You can also get the heavy lot pure system. The only difference is is the size of the bladder and whether you get steel or aluminum D-rings. Now mine is the heavy duty so I've got a 34 pound bladder. I've got steel D-rings. I've got a little pouch to carry extra accessories in. I've got my canister light and a couple of reels attached and of course I run it with aluminum 80s. Now in the last video I showed you all the aluminum 80s that I use for side mount and you can see I pretty much go through bottles all the time. Now I'm a huge huge fan of side mount diving. Any chance I can jump in and side mount instead of back mount that's where you're going to find me underwater and be in the happiest. But this is the heavy duty pure side mount system from the Mares XR line. Alright guys, to end out my personal BCDs that I use, I actually have two honorable mentions here. Now, I do wear these occasionally throughout the year. It really depends on what it is I'm doing or who it is I'm diving for. They are virtually just identical jacket style BCDs. One is weight integrated, one is not weight integrated. But I want to go through both of them real quick just so that you can see the difference and learn why I use these. Now, the one on the left here, that is just a Mares Prestige. I believe this is like a 2012, maybe 2013 version. It does have the older MRS weight pouches. I did have one that had the SLS system, but of course I sold it out uh, right after I got it. But I am using an older style jacket style BCD here. I, I never really had trouble with the MRS systems. I know a lot of people did, but to be honest, I've never really had an issue with it. I believe the lift here is around 36 pounds of lift. What I wear this for is just, hey, I just want to go jump in the water, grab a tank, grab a reg, grab a BC, and go. That's the one I would actually take out if I was just going out for a little bit of fun dive. And then the next one is the Lifeguard System SAR, or Search and Recovery BCD. This is a jacket style from Lifeguard Systems. You guys saw the video that we did on their shears and why we use them. Well, this is the exact same company. Now, this is set up specifically for quick deploy public safety diving. It's got an extra little line cutter or knife here on that side. I've also got another set of the Lifeguard systems rescue gear shears there it's got several different pockets that are set up to carry very specific tools that i wear when i'm underwater but the coolest thing about this bcd of course is the back and you guys know in public safety diving you've always got to have some type of redundant air source well with this particular bcd it actually has a built-in pony holder here on the side it'll fit a 19 cubic foot all the way up to a 30 cubic foot pony bottle and like i said for quick deploy this bcd is absolutely great for public safety dive teams and that's exactly what I use it for. I still do a lot of contract work with public safety teams and there's one in specific that I do work for and their policy states that all team members must be geared up the same. So of course, I've got a BCD that I can gear up identical to those guys as well. Whether I'm teaching them, whether I'm doing consult work or I'm actually out doing public safety work with them, this BCD actually comes in very handy. So there you go guys, that's my current six BCDs that I use every single day, whether I'm just teaching open water scuba, I'm doing some public safety work or salvage work, or I'm just going out for a nice, fun, leisurely dive, these are the ones that I use. Drop me a comment down below and let me know what type of BCDs you're using and why you like using them as well. But guys, stay tuned. We've got regulators coming up next, and I really think you'll find it interesting, all the different types of regs that I use and the purposes I have as, for them as well. But if you like this series and you want to see more of it, give me a big thumbs up. Definitely share it as well. As always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business.